Uh, it's Matt Bateman, Core Car Practice here. We're not in the rehab lab today, we're in the isolation kitchen. Um, but we're still going to give you some rehab exercises. Okay, so we're going to go through uh, an exercise basically to try and loosen up a few hip flexors. We've given a number of things, particularly stressors, trying to lunge stretch, trying to open up that hip flexor, both lunging and also with a band assisted lunge stretch. But this exercise is what we call the psoas march. Okay, it's a variation of the dead bug where effectively we're gonna try and isolate the abdominals, okay, and get them to contract and be dominant over uh, a statically contracted psoas. So that sounds all a lot of jargon, but effectively what it is is a variation, as I said, of the dead bug. All you need is a little loop or a band like this, okay, you can get a, a TheraBand off me. Um, if I've given you this exercise, I'd probably give you a TheraBand as well. So, what we do is go into that dead bug position and wrap the loop around your feet. Now you can do it with shoes on, but um, I'm going to do another exercise in a minute where I don't have shoes. And in that dead bug position, then we send one leg forward, hold that one there, and the other arm goes backwards. Okay. Now here, I'm isometrically contracting through my psoas, but I'm dominating through the core to try and get the psoas to be a secondary stabilizer after the core. A lot of the time, our psoas dominates over our core and tries to stabilize our back, our lower back. Now, if that happens, that can cause low back pain. So here we're trying to get the core to take control. So again, you just go into the dead bug, okay, flatten the lower back into the floor, Okay, but again, hold one of the legs straight, okay, in 90 degrees position, and push the other one forward. That gives you resistance. Go through about three sets of five on either leg, okay, and then you'll get a little bit tired, and that's about it. Cool, enjoy, take care, and see you later.